Apple just released its new Apple intelligence update. So it is in beta right now. I'm going to show you number one, how to install it. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to go over what's new, do a quick review of Apple intelligence and give you my thoughts on if you should be using it. All right. This one's going to be a kind of quick one. We're going to cover a lot. So let's dive right in. If you're new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan. I host Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping people learn and leverage generative AI. Been talking about Apple intelligence a lot. We just did our AI news uh, that matters uh, kind of access to that. And it's not available for every single device. So I'm doing the Mac OS 15.1 version. Uh, so you need to have an M1 chip or higher uh, to access this beta. Uh, and if you're on the iPhone, you need to have an uh, an iPhone 15 Pro or newer or the new Apple, uh, you know, six or sorry, iPhone 16. So it's not available to every single device, just the newer devices, a uh, little more availability on the computers uh, on the Mac side. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. So uh, let me just quickly tell you what's actually out and what's not. So there, this is just rolling out in phases. This new Apple intelligence, this is Apple's new technically edge AI. This is on device uh, processing a lot of these things. And then there's going to be a chat GPT collaboration uh, coming in the near future. So the biggest new, uh, I guess, announcement is the writing tools. Uh, that's what's available now, even on the Mac and on the iPhone, these Apple intelligence features are rolling out in phases. So with the 15.1 beta uh, on Mac OS, or if you're the 18.1, uh, the writing tools uh, are out now. So I'll be showing you that. Um, and then also with um, working it into all of Apple's apps as well. So we're going to look at pages. We're going to look at mail. We're going to look at messages, even though it doesn't work, and as well as Siri. Uh, so this is not out yet. Uh, Apple's kind of image playground, uh, their Memojis. I think those are personally, I think those are a little gimmicky. I'm probably never going to use them. Uh, those are not out yet. There uh, is reportedly another beta coming out in October uh, where some of these features will be coming out to US users first. Um, and then uh, I believe most of them will be rolled out by uh, early 2025. Uh, Siri, there's some new portions, but not really. Uh, the only new thing that's out right now in Mac 15 uh, is just this new kind of interface. It's not this smarter Siri 2.0. Uh, you'll kind of see what I mean, uh, but I will show you some of the new things that are available um, in Siri. And then, uh, yeah, ChatGPT. So this is not out yet, um, at least not that I've seen. Again, it's a little buggy, a buggy but once it is rolled out, Everyone will have access, even if you do not um, have a ChatGPT account. Uh, so yeah, it says right there, uh, anyone can access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. ChatGPT subscribers can connect accounts to access paid features within these experiences. So uh, we're one. I'm wondering if we'll see this more, uh, much more powerful ChatGPT app uh, that we saw open AI demo uh, back in the spring. Uh, once this is fully rolled out, I did also just update the ChatGPT app to see if there was anything new, but there's not. All right, that's enough uh, chit chat. Let's just go straight into it. Well, let's start in Safari. That's actually where I am now. Uh, so let's see, let, let me show you what's new in Safari. Not a whole lot, if I'm being honest. Uh, so one is you can go in reader mode. Okay, so you can click this. Um, and then I'm going to click show reader. Uh, and again, don't worry, at the end, it's a little convoluted. So once I'm done showing you these features, I'm going to show you how to get access um, in, uh, in your settings. It's a little tricky, but I'm going to save that for the end. Just got to show you what's new. All right, so here we go. This isn't new. This is reader mode. Uh, but what is new is the ability to summarize something. All right, so let me go back. Uh, I'm going to go to a new uh, page here. There we go. I'm going to go in reader mode, click show reader. And then there is this new summarize button right here. So I'm going to click summarize. Uh, there you get the little Apple intelligence animation. And there is our generative AI summary. Yay. Not a big deal. All right. This has been available uh, in Microsoft Edge uh, with Copilot for free for a very long time. Uh, and it's this is available in a lot of different browsers, thousands of browser extensions. Nothing new here from Apple. All right. Uh, so, I mean, we can also just straight up look at the writing tools right now. So um, as long as you are in Apple's apps, 
uh, this is available. So you can essentially right click anything and then go into writing tools and then show writing tools or you can pick one of them. So sometimes it's a little finicky. I see it in some apps, I sometimes don't. When you highlight text, normally when you hover, you will get a little icon. Um, I'm not seeing it anymore. I was already seeing this earlier uh, when I was testing this out, but still uh, anywhere within. So if, if you're in Safari, like I am now, if you're in pages, if you're in Apple Mail, I'll show you that as well. You can right click and go to writing tools and show writing tools. So when you do get the little hover thing, you click it and it would bring up this. So essentially you can proofread, rewrite, change the tone, summarize, key points, list, table, etc. All right. So let's make it a little difficult. I'm going to highlight all the text. All right. Go to writing tools and I'm going to click summarize. All right. This is essentially a lot of content uh, that we had and it gave me a, uh, oh, an okay summary here. Um, so it didn't even mention, this was a podcast episode that I have. Uh, okay, so there we go. It finally says this uh, featured Kumar uh, Parakala. Uh, so there we go. It gave us a pretty decent uh, page summary. Again, nothing new uh, here, but let's maybe see some things that are a little bit new. Uh, let's just try Siri, okay? Uh, so I don't have it enabled by my voice because I talk about every, I, I talk about Siri a lot on my show. I'm actually recording with my phone. So I'm gonna use the shortcut key, which is command twice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you should see in my in the upper right hand corner. So there is the new uh, version of Siri. So I'm gonna click uh, the voice so I can talk to Siri. What's the weather in Chicago? There we go. Yay. Nothing too new with Siri, uh, right? So you can type to Siri, which I guess is okay. Uh, so I can say, you know, who won, uh, you know, who won the Super Bowl? Should give me a response. So this is the, this is not the, uh, you know, smarter kind of V2 Siri uh, that was demoed at Apple's uh, Glow Time event or their WWDC. This is essentially just a, a newer version that can kind of access some Apple intelligence features, but not great if I'm being honest, uh, nothing too useful, right? So uh, it, it can kind of access a little bit of your data. So I might ask like, what was the last everyday AI newsletter? Let's see if that works. What was the last everyday AI newsletter that was sent in my mail? So there you go. Uh, it looks like it just, it actually looks like it just did a web search. So again, is it actually connected to all my other Apple apps? Ah, it doesn't really look like it, right? So uh, if you were hoping for an amazing Siri, don't hold your breath, I guess. All right, let's look, uh, let's look at what's next. Uh, okay, so again, I'm gonna show you how to get access to this. So now I'm in pages, all right? So the same, the, the, the writing tools are the same as they were everywhere else, so I'm not gonna take a ton of time. Uh, so you can highlight any text. So let's say you wanted to, uh, you know, make this a little more um, informal, right? So if you're writing, uh, again, I'm not getting the, uh, the icon I was earlier where you would highlight something, that's fine. I can just go to writing tools. I can select it straight from here. I can say make friendly. Uh, it's going to essentially rewrite this, right? So this is kind of like some features or some versions of, uh, you know, ChatGPT, other uh, AI writing tools. Uh, there you go. It made it um, a little like I told it to, and then I can either copy it or I can replace it. So if you have something highlighted, you use one of the writing tools, I click replace, it's going to replace everything and there you go. So again, Nothing great, I guess, if you use pages a lot. I don't. Uh, this this could be helpful. Uh, or if you use, um, yeah, if you are a Safari user, I like Edge and uh, Chrome, so I'm not like a big Safari user. So for me, nothing, nothing big here. All right, let's look at maybe uh, one or two uh, last features. So let's go into Apple Mail here. All right, uh, so let me open up a newsletter. All right. So interesting. I was working, uh, I was testing this out earlier and I would get the summarize. Okay, there we go. So it looks like you have to open it. Whereas before, uh, okay. I just scroll up. There's the summarize. It's kind of small, right? Uh, so you can summarize your emails. So that's helpful. Uh, I'm sure there you go. There's my summary. Uh, I'm wondering if I can right click and summarize it like that. It doesn't look like I can yet. 
Um, so another, another kind of big thing that was announced was these prioritized or summarized notifications. I'm not seeing that on my end. I looked at my notifications, text messages that I have on my computer. Uh, they weren't summarized. So again, a lot of these features are, are rolling out as they become available. Uh, so I think that's, that's kind of all the big updates there. I'm going to show you how to get access. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So as a quick recap, writing tools are out in the Mac 15, uh, Mac OS 15.1 uh, shows you a couple of those examples. Uh, sometimes it shows up the little icon. Sometimes you just have to right click on your mouse, on your keyboard, etc. Uh, the images are not out yet, or the emojis. Uh, Siri, you're getting some new features, but this isn't the quote unquote smarter uh, Siri that's uh, powered by ChatGPT or GPT 4.0. Uh, so don't see that yet. It also looks like, at least in my limited testing, Siri does not have access to other data in my Apple apps aside from messages. Um, so I, I did do a test on messages. I'm not trying to read my messages uh, to you all live, uh, but that did work. So, uh, it, you know, it was okay, but nothing nothing groundbreaking here. Uh, and then uh, the ChatGPT integration, not out yet. So here's how to get access to it. Uh, this is a little finicky. So you need to first uh, go into uh, Apple's Safari browser, okay? You're going to go to beta.apple.com. Uh, you need to sign up for the uh, beta software program, or unless you're a developer, you may already have access. Um, let me say this, don't install this if uh, maybe you're on a work computer or if uh, you have a lot of files that you really, really need and are super important at the time, right? Because this is beta. Uh, so things are gonna be finicky. Make sure to back up your computer first before doing this. Make sure, you know, if you do have super important files, make sure you install them on the cloud. Um, or sorry, sync them to a cloud service. Install them on the cloud. All right, so uh, first you have to sign up. Uh, then you will need to update to the beta, all right? And this is where it gets a little tricky. So uh, eventually in general, you'll go to software update. After you sign up for it, you essentially click a button. You'll have a new thing here that says download the beta. All right, you download the beta, you have to install it, takes a while, restart your computer. Uh, eventually, what you wanna see is this right here. You're going to get an Apple Intelligence and Siri new menu item. Uh, for me, what happened even after I uh, you know, signed up for the beta, I did the 15.1 download, it installed. I had to restart my computer twice until uh, this was available in the software update to enable Apple intelligence. Then uh, I still had to restart my computer two other times. So essentially, once you get access to this, uh, you have to enable it or sign up. You're actually signing up uh, to join a wait list. Uh, all you have to do, at least this worked for me, once you join the wait list, restart your computer, wait a couple of minutes, and then you're going to be able to enable it. All right, so uh, that is a very quick overview. I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. Let me know, do you wanna see more on Apple intelligence, uh, at least on the Mac? For me, not super impressed with this first beta. I don't. I honestly don't even think I'm going to be using it much. If you have other tools, you know, ChatGPT, uh, you know, Perplexity, Gemini, uh, right, Copilot, I don't think you need this, right? Um, and it, this isn't fully out yet either, right? Um, if this was a, a full release, if it worked everywhere, if if Siri uh, could, could better read my emails, uh, all of my data, right? Like, I don't care. I'm very happy to give whoever my data if it makes my life easier. But right now, it's a little disjointed. Not everything's out yet. Uh, so I'm not going to be using it, right? Uh, so yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think. See you back for another AI in 15, apparently. Thanks, y'all.